Hello everybody and welcome back to another Monster Hunter Freedom Unite video. Today I have for you an auto reload set for the heavy bow gun that also has evade 2 as well as elemental attack up. Someone was requesting to know what auto reload set I was using in my 5 Monster Hunter Freedom Unite tips for new characters videos so I thought I might as well just make a video on this set. Taking a look at the weapons and armor, we have the ultimate Lao Shan cannon for the weapon. For the helmet, we have the Kirin Horn X, that is the Blade Master version. We have the Narga Vest X, Shinobi Kote Heaven for the arms. We have the Kirin Shorts X for the waist and the Obituary Femur X for the legs. Now we do have the power barrel equipped on our heavy bow gun and the bullets it shoots is mainly just level 3 shots for most of the ammos as well as normal level 2 and the main attraction for the weapon is the flame, water, and thunder shot. Now let's take a look at the decorations. I have an evade deco on the ultimate Lao Shan cannon. On the helmet I have two continuous firing, that's the auto reload decos, just the normal one slot. On the chest I have a dodge jewel which is a two slot evade deco. On the arms I have the barrage jewel which is a three slot auto reload decoration. For the waist I have two more evade jewels that are also just one slots. And finally for the legs I have a, another 3 slot auto reload decoration. Now the main attraction for this set is obviously the auto reload but another nice feature is having that evade too so you can just roll through some of the attacks that would have hit you otherwise. This will obviously take a little practice to get used to and you might not roll through all the attacks but the damage that you will save yourself from is definitely nice. Nargakuga is an easier monster to perform evade on just because it is from Freedom Unite. Most of the base monsters from Freedom 2 will have a little larger hitboxes. And having elemental attack up on the set you want to focus on using your elemental shots first. I would recommend bringing book combos 1 through 3 or 1 through 4 as well as bringing combination items for your fire shots as well as your water shots. It is a little more expensive to make thunder shots, but if you do have the thunder bugs, you can bring those as well. After going through all of your elemental shots, then you can switch to your normal ammo. You will shoot your pierce and pelt ammo a little slower due to having the auto reload skill. And this set is definitely usable all by yourself. You should be able to clear most of the G rank quests in about 8 to 10 minutes, depending on what monster you're fighting. And if you aren't in G rank yet, I would recommend that you go for the Death Stench armor. With that armor, you will be able to get auto reload as well as abnormal status attack up. And for the gun, you'll probably want to go for the high rank version of the Ultimate Lao Shan Cannon. And as good as this gun does by itself, it really shines when you get a group of people. Even if you just have one or two more people using this same exact set, you will be able to knock out the monsters very quickly. I hope this video was helpful for anyone looking for an auto reload set. I will be leaving a link in the description down below for the Athena armor set search. I do believe I found this set on a website just of different Monster Hunter Freedom Unite sets, but you will be able to create just about not any set you can think of due to the limitations of how skills work in this game, but you will be able to come up with some pretty good sets on that tool. And of course, thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful day, and I hope to see you all in the Gathering Hall. Peace out.